Welcome to the part 3 of Generative Art with TypeScript. If you haven't seen the previous two, there are links in the description. Here's a preview of what we will create. There are a lot more examples at the back. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. I appreciate your feedback. In this video, I will go through the steps of creating these animations. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out. So we are in VS Code. The project may look a bit different from the previous video. Previously, we had all the code in one file. And here I have refactored the project into a more manageable structure. We use Webpack to package all the JavaScript. As you can see, we don't have any other dependencies. In order to run this, we need two watches and a web server. Let's do a sanity check to see if all is well. The experiments of this video are loosely based on Lusertree curve. The equation looks like this and it uses sinusoids to plot a point. You can read more about it on Wikipedia. First let's refactor the code to send in a parameter structure instead of image data directly. This way we can easily add more parameters as we need them. still works. We are going to send in an index parameter to each particle so we can differentiate based on its index. And we remove the previous position computations and replace them with the new scheme. And it looks like this. Settle down, Dolly. I got this. So now I'm going to add various tweaks to this and play around. Check out the pinned comment below for gallery timestamps. Thank you. 
If you like what I create, please subscribe to support the channel.